Redevelopment plans have just been announced this past Monday for the first of four phases of the new development from the Point of the Mountain Land Authority called The Point. And this development is located at the former Utah State Prison site in Draper, just 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City. And in this video, I'm going to share with you and show you the plans and renderings, as well as outline the features, the amenities, and the new districts of this new upcoming development that has been labeled Utah's most significant in its history. All right, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Steele, and I am passionate about sharing this type of content, about discovering all things Utah and what Utah has to offer, as well as Utah real estate. If this is the type of content that interests you, please subscribe. But also, as much as I love making these videos, I really love helping people with real estate as well. If you're considering making a move to Utah, or maybe you already live here, but you're looking for a new place, I would love to have a conversation and be your real estate resource of choice. You can find my contact information in the description and anywhere on this channel, and I would love it if you call me, text me, or email me anytime. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first phase was just announced and located right at the heart of this development is phase one, which is approximately 100 acres of the 600 acres overall of this development. This first phase will include high-end office space, multifamily housing, premier retail, shopping, and entertainment venues, a people-focused main street called the Promenade, and a place for the Innovation District dubbed Innovation Alley. Phase one is just one-sixth of this entire development. And also, the size and the density of this development is something that Utah has never seen before. It's more reminiscent of what you would see in a much larger city. As an FYI, Utah is growing up and Salt Lake City is growing up right in front of our eyes. And this is the type of development that will keep us moving forward into the future. And to be completely honest with you, we simply cannot maintain the same type of zoning with single family houses with large yards and lots like we did in the past. And as far as the locals go here, I know that a lot of people are against denser housing, but to be honest with you, we absolutely need more developments just like this because this city is growing up fast. Okay, before I go into the full detail of what I wanna talk about in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick list of what this first phase will include. First off, housing. Over 3,300 multifamily residential units will be built, including approximately 400 affordable housing units. Number two, parks and open space. There's going to be 16 acres of parks in this first phase, including a central green where every single home is within two blocks of a park or a trail. Next up is there will be six miles of roads built, and then there will be the trails. There will be 10 miles of sidewalks and trails, including the River to Range Trail. Now this River to Range Trail is really cool because it connects the Jordan River Parkway and the Porter Rockwell Trail that connects you to Corner Canyon. So you can literally get from the river to the mountains without having to do anything other than walk on the trails. Next up, it will include office space, more than 2.3 million square feet of office space. Followed by hospitality, it will have 540 hotel rooms. And next up, and this might be the most exciting, is the event center. It will have a 60,000 square foot venue that seats two to 3,000 people. And last but not least, it will have about 356,000 square feet of shopping and restaurants and grocery stores. So this retail and dining experience here will be top notch as well. And there's going to be a building that's called the Convergence Hall that's going to represent the first piece of the innovation district at the point. And just to touch on a few more aspects of this development, it will be 100% drought tolerant landscaping throughout the development, as well as create 4,000 high quality jobs here in Utah and over 12,000 parking stalls within the parking structures themselves. And as far as the timeline, the first phase of this project is going to be building out the infrastructure. This all happens underground. This will take place throughout all of 2024 and probably most of, if not all of 2025. And then they'll start going vertical with the construction in late 2025 or potentially into 2026. Also, they released a framework document that's 120 pages long. I took the painstaking effort of going through every single page. And from my perspective, I pulled out the five most interesting things in this development that I'm going to outline right here. First up is the River to Range Trail. I already talked a little bit about that. It's really cool. It connects the river to the mountains. I think that's amazing. And next up is the Taste of Place. This is kind of the restaurant district. It's going to have both indoor and outdoor dining. That's really cool. Next up is the Promenade followed by the central green and last but not least is innovation alley also i'll show you a map here on screen of the entire development and the different phases as i go through the different districts but it looks like there's going to be seven different districts within this four phase development starting with the hub followed by the canal district the ridge district the south river district the west river district 
the North River District, and the Wasatch District. Okay, first up on this list of the five most interesting things that I've pulled from this development, starting with the River to Range Trail. In summary, the River to Range Trail is a 1.4 mile paved regional trail that will connect the Jordan River Parkway Trail to the west with the foothills of Draper's Corner Canyon to the east through the Porter Rockwell Trail and then into Corner Canyon. And I think that's amazing because you'll actually be able to go, I don't know if it's over or under I-15, but I believe it'll be under I-15 that you'll be able to make that crossing, but I think that is just phenomenal. Next up is something that they've called Taste of Place. The Taste of Place will be a go-to destination where Utahns can dine at a wide variety of both indoor and outdoor restaurants. With a diverse selection of seasonal and rooftop dining as well, casual quick service, and sweet treats options, the Taste of Place will offer high quality culinary experiences guaranteed to satisfy any palate. And as a Utah native, I think that it's really cool to start seeing new restaurants pop up outside of downtown Salt Lake City because for so long we had limited options in terms of chain restaurants, but now we're seeing so much more growth in the south end of the valley and that's really cool. Next up is the Promenade. The Promenade will be a vibrant, people-focused development lined with places to shop and eat. It will also include over 2 million square feet of premier office space, approximately 3,000 multifamily housing units, and 222,000 square feet of retail, restaurants, and grocery stores. Next up is the Central Green. And the Central Green will provide a centralized gathering place that brings together urban living and outdoor recreation for Utahns and their families. The park will serve as an outdoorsy urban hub, boasting some of the best connections to the natural environment in the country. With a flexible design, Central Green will provide adaptable space to accommodate seasonally appropriate activities year-round, including concerts. And last up is Innovation Alley. And how they've described Innovation Alley is that proximity facilitates opportunity. Innovation Alley will support an innovation ecosystem that promotes human interactions, advances technological innovation, fosters a startup environment, and facilitates meaningful relationships among universities, businesses, and entrepreneurs. Also, I want to talk a little bit about the sustainability and walkability of this development as well. So as you can see on screen here, there's going to be a total of 142 and a half acres of parks and open spaces, as well as 50% of the parks, which is 70 acres, are going to be protected naturalized landscape. And something that I thought was really cool is that one 100% of the people that live here will be within a two minute walk or 500 feet of a park or open space. And just to stress the element of mobility or walkability, this is a really cool feature as well that 100% of the people will be within a five minute walk of public transportation. Also, one of my favorite parks in this development is the Wasatch Park. And this park's really cool. And as you can see here, it's going to be a central space for the office district. This space will accommodate multi-purpose courts, pickleball, a bike hub, flexible lawn, food trucks, dining, gardens, and there will be other activities that take place here as well. I think Wasatch Park might be one of my favorites in here. All right guys, so for this development, there's so much more to read and see what's coming to this development. I'm going to attach in the description below a link for this document. It's 120 pages, but it's really well illustrated and it shows everything from sustainability to the different phases, to the districts, to the trails, to the biking, to the public transportation and everything in between. So if you're interested, you can click that link and see this for yourselves. And just as a reminder, my name is Scott and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So if you're considering making a move to Utah or perhaps you've already moved here, or hey, even if you're from Utah, but you're looking to make a move, I would love to talk. So please reach out to me. You can call, text me, or email me anytime. You can find my information in the description below. And until the next video, thanks guys.